Welcome to Awakened Titans Podcast with Lily Patrescu. Mind-blowing conversations with influential business titans sharing how you can manifest abundance, love, joy, success through quantum awakening, quantum manifestation, quantum healing, quantum miracles, exponential business growth, and innovative products and services. Discover how to build a multi-million pound business in today's session with Rui Lin. He's the founder of All Eat App. We all eat together. It's an app that has revolutionized the restaurant takeaway industry and has managed to acquire thousands of restaurants and also to have thousands and thousands of clients that are currently benefiting from cost-saving opportunities for both parties. I'm so excited to be here with Rui Lin, who's going to tell us, what's the secret to your success? Well, I think to get success is to have no secrets, just all you need to do to get your job, to, to have a hard workers, put your effort in, do your job properly, then you can get successful. It, it, it all depends, you know, you need to put a lot of effort, a lot of time to spend in there, yes. <clears throat> Thank you. And what's your blueprint to become an awakened titan? Um, actually, um, I think in my community, we have a lot of people working in Chinese restaurant, Chinese takeaway. Uh, even myself has been working in Chinese restaurant, Chinese takeaway industry before. So what we what we do is um we we find out if we don't go into online food orders we don't have the order if we go for online food order we don't make any profit because online food order being charged too much on commissions as i know i think they charge overcharge the consumer about uh, 39 million pounds per day and that is a huge of the money that we're making cost of living very difficult for people who be living in the UK. <clears throat> so what I'm thinking is, how can I help in the people to reduce cost of living? How can I get the restaurant to reduce cost to, of the running the restaurant to benefit on um, restaurant, to benefit on um, our consumers, to get people in better life? That's why I'm thinking, that's why we started all it. And that's why... We have our slogan called We All Eat Together. So I don't want the people getting unfair payments or unfair cost. And this is ridiculous. And this is too much. That's why we have the company called All Eat. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. And how did you become a business titan? Um, I think I'm not the titan. I'm just normal human. You know, anyone who come into the world, start from the day they born, then we always try to see what can we do for the for the life. I think I'm not a tit titan. I'm just a normal human trying to help in the people. I think anyone should do that to help in someone to gain better life. I'm not a titan, just a normal human. I have a different opinion because I see you as a titan. From the moment that you walk into a room, you feel powerful. Even if I didn't know what you do, I can just see the power that you uh, you show. Okay, and also you um, you look influential, and you look influential because you are influential, and you have built already a network of thousands of people, restaurants and clients, and also entrepreneurs. So what I'm curious about is how did you manage to build such a big network of entrepreneurs, restaurants, and clients, and what was the secret to doing it? Um, actually, um, I think um, we have, with our company, we we don't have any secrets. Uh, we don't have anything like what you say. Nick. Actually, we, we, we're just a platform to helping the restaurant and consumers. I think everyone has forcing that problem, especially at the moment we have the problem in the UK have a cost of living crisis. So everyone getting that problem. So I, I, I'm just the people to helping them to get out of cost of living crisis. That's why all the people thinking what we do is one of the right things. That's why we have a lot of restaurants 
be enjoying with us. Even we don't doing too much advertisement, the restaurants they join us because they find out a way to to save the the cost of the operation, and also they find a way to see they are customers who save a lot of money on all the our, our platform. Which consumers is the same. We don't do any advertisement. We don't doing too much on that and we don't do promotion or whatever because the price we're giving is one of the best price already so it be sometimes when they do promotion it's because they have a lot of the profit in there that's why they can do promotion but with us we don't have the lot of profit and um, every order which charge 90 pence including VAT. that means it's 75 pence per order that's how we make it that's it but with traditional online food order platform they will charge you like uh, 36 percent that means every order from all it, you gotta pay for about 30, 30 pounds, something like that. But with traditional online platform, you gotta pay for 50 pounds, 60 pounds. So you overpay about 20 pounds or 30 pounds from each of your meal. That's why we're doing it. Then without advertisement, without the promotions, without the discount, and people find the way that's right. And they stay order from us. And also we using restaurant driver to deliver the food. That's a very important point because I'm in that industry. I know it, how they deliver the food. And I know how is our driver deliver the food. That's why we never ever using the driver outside to deliver the food. We're always using the driver from the restaurant to deliver food because that's the most safe way for delivering your food without anyone doing anything to your food. So we make sure the food is safety and healthy deliver to your door with affordable price to helping you to gain better life better food reduce cost of living yeah thank you so how did you decide to make a difference to thousands and potentially millions of people with your app what was that experience that awakened your drive to make a difference to millions of consumers and restaurants? Um, I don't understand you very well. What is your question again? Which experience helped you decide to make a difference to thousands of restaurants and consumers? It, it actually, I think, um, when we're going to do it, I think the people, when I come in UK in 24 years ago, um, I can see the people keeping smile in their face. I can see I can see the people loving to helping anyone in the street. That's what I'm seeing. It. But in 24 years later, the, re the smile on people's face is getting reduced. The stress on people's face is getting increased. I think this is one of the things getting worse. So I love the country, UK. That's where I'm raising off. I'm, I'm, I'm going up. I love the country. I, I want to see the people who in, in, in that my country have a people keeping a smile in, in, in the face. I can, I want to see the people have a happiness of their life. In leave, been to living in the UK, but um, at the moment, I think a lot of people losing a smile, a lot of people losing the uh, happiness, but a lot of people gain a lot of shares of anything. I think you, as a human, as someone who living in UK, or we should do something for the our society. We should helping the people to get back of the smile, um, to get in better life. When it, you know, that's the things we, we we try to do. But I'm sorry, I don't speak in great English. But I got the great heart to helping the people to gain a better life. I think that's the why we start the OE to helping the people. Thank you. And why is this important to you? Why is it, making people happy and save costs important to you? Of course. That's very important. Is because of the culture we receive. I am a I'm Buddhist. I'm very Buddhist. So I know a lot of people to doing a business and they become a millionaire or billionaire. That's what they do. 
But with me, I'm not looking to be, become a millionaire or billionaire, but I'm looking to helping million or billion of people to reduce the cost of living. I think that'd be one of the great things. A lot of people doing the business to be entrepreneurs. They are looking for money and money, money, money. Um, that's what I'm not, look, not what I'm looking for because I know I won't be the richest man in the world or in the England, but I want to be one of the person and uh, can help in the people keeping a smile on their face. I think that it would be one of the great things what we are going to do in it. So that, that'll be the thing. It's, it's not, you know, nothing is important than the people who keeping smile on the face. Because when you go out the street, if you see the people keeping smile on your face, you have very good mode, then you have a beautiful life. That's what we're looking for. The life is for enjoy. It's not for money, money, money. So I don't mind some million or billion money in my in my company or coming in, I'm very care about we seeing millions of people keeping a smile on their face. So that's why we, we have a way we actually every day we're helping thousands and thousands of people to reduce cost of living. I think we're helping millions and millions of people to reduce their cost of living, to put a little bit more of the smiling on their face of with our company. That's why I'm feeling so proud of my company. Every day we 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 helping, you know, million of people to reduce their cost of living, to get back of the smile on their face. Thank you. And how did you go from being a chef to now leading this amazing company that imp that impacts thousands and thousands of people? Actually, when I um as a chef working in a restaurants, um I can help the people to get in nice food, tasty food. That's what I do for all my customers. So um, I also talk with a lot of my customers while I working in a takeaway and restaurants. They they all talking about the food price is too much in anything is keeping increased. They have high life, anything like that. That's why I'm thinking to making them tasty food, a healthy food is not enough for me. So I should do something to, you know, to help them have more easy life. I think this is this is very, very important things. Yeah. So I'm not looking to become a Titanic. I'm not looking to become a billionaire. I'm looking for people to keep in smile in my country. That's why I'm leaving. I'm growing up. Thank you. And how did you manage to have your first 1,000 users for your restaurant app? Um, Okay, that's a very difficult one. When we have a hot first 1,000 restaurant or first 1,000 consumers, because a lot, the as a business model, everyone doing a the business, they're looking to make the money to make the money. So people are thinking, if you only make it that small money of 90 pence per order, and how you survive your company keeping running, that's what they're thinking. I'm telling them we can do it as soon as we stay together because we together, we powerful. When we put the order restaurant together, if we got a lot order a day, so with the 90 pence, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. So they, they won't trust that going to be delivered. They thinking this will be very difficult, right? Like I'm telling them everything on technology, yeah, on IT is to helping people getting better life, easy and hustle to making shopping or anything, but cheaper. But only on food, prof, food uh, industry, you know, the, the price has been increased too much on their bill because when they charge for 36% of you know, or 46% of the commission, this is almost the food price are going to double. That will be making people very difficult on there. So what we do, we try to help, and that's it. Thank you. And and how did you grow to so many users? What what was your step? Would did you uh, start going through your community and seeing who was interested, or how did you grow from your you know from zero to your first one thousand restaurants? Actually, when we're going to one, grow one thousand restaurants, that's a very difficult time. We're doing it, but with after that, I. We have a very slow growth in the beginning, but when I uh, started doing it for, for, for the times, the time beings, and when the people know I'm one, uh, I'm the owner of the company, so they know my uh, 
uh, um, personally, and also they know what what I'm doing. They actually I got uh, quite high reputation in Chinese community because always we helping a lot of people. That's why we we get the thousand restaurant to join us, and it's very difficult. We we won't have any a lot order for them on that time. It's great my community and a lot of Bangladesh community, a lot of Indian community for doing restaurant and food industry. They're helping us then slowly, slowly, and we build it up. I think all we build up the business is because of what we what I doing start when I born. I'm I I I'm, I'm receiving a lot of the culture from temple. So I love to help in the peoples. That is my culture. That is inside of my blood to helping the people to gain better life. Thank you. Would you say that it was the culture of helping people and adding value and saving cost and sticking together and yeah. being supportive? And was there anything else that helped you to build this community of your first 1,000 restaurants on your app? Was it the fact that the Chinese community tends to stick together? Is it because you asked for referrals? Was it because you did ads? Was it because you had a big sales team? What was the thing that you think made the biggest difference to your success? I think it's not only about com Chinese community, it's also about another community, you know, Indian, Pakistan, you know, Bangladesh communities. That's always very important. It's not all about that. It's about not being charged too much from the traditional online food order platform. When they're running the business, I think any restaurant, the owner, they make about thousand pounds a week. That's it. But they also find out on online food order platform, they've been charged then, 2,000, 3,000, or 4,000. So even more than they are profit. They are the, 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 the restaurant or takeaway owner. They don't make the money as that much as through all the platform make it. So they are change their position be, between company owner or shop owner to shop manager. So they thinking they are the manager. They don't want to be a manager they want to be an owner of shop that's why they join to all eight to get a customer and they also thinking if the food price is too high that'll be effect to the people buying the food like customers or they are customer why they buy from their shop because they trust them they love their food and they cannot put the price high that's but i think that's the thing is if you like to help in the people or anyone have a very good heart right in in this world try to help in the people try to gain better life for everyone you know as someone life is better as our life is better that's why a lot of people are doing it and even some people doing donation or whatever to helping the people you know i think all the people when they born have they born with a very good heart that's why they want to help in people and they want to stop paying the commission. That's why they joined to OE. And slowly, slowly, for today, seven years old of OE, we create a big community, a lot of restaurants, and we have a million and million of the consumers being registered with us, being ordered from us. That'd be grateful. I, I love to see it. Yes. Yeah, so we that's that's how we become um bigger and that's how we're helping the people. I think help make everything change. Thank you. And what about your personal, um, your personal way of life? The fact that you are focusing so much on being joyful and happy and um, distributing that love and the, the joy to your, um, to your company. Have you managed to um, infuse this happiness spirit into your company and also into your app that reaches your clients um with my personal life um uh, i think um i got a um, great life <laughs> i got great family and i got um sick kid they are all happy getting educated in UK, have a perfect life. So all I see is we, um, I educate them too. 
I'm telling you, what is the most important things in the life? It's not how we going to making the money, getting try the way to get us rich. We always, I always um, educate my kid is how we helping the people. I think it's very important. You see, um, a lot of the the billionaires, a lot of the billionaire, yeah, um, they they may have good life, but they don't have a life with uh, with with love but with my life we have a love that's why we from my life to my to my business it's the same so with my company we are not delivery the food we are delivery the love to your door because it's very important i think nothing is important than happiness and love that's why we have our company so how is people keeping smile on anything you know that is very very important things i think to do um um when we when we have affordable food delivered to someone else store they will have happy life you know when they have a happy life they have more time to enjoy the family life life when they enjoy the family life what is important things in our family we need is a love that's why oh we, we are not only deliver the food we deliver the love so that's why we need to deliver the food. Love. We did I deliver love to my kid, family life. So all my customers will deliver the love to their family life too. Because I think money is one of the uh, a, a toll for our life to make our family more stronger, to make our family have more love in there. Because we need time to spend with the family. So I think the, the business is same as a family. We need a love. The society is sang as a company, is sang as a family. We need love. So oh, we, we not only deliver the food, we also deliver the love. Tell me who don't need the help. Tell me who don't need the love. You know, if you are a billionaire or whatever, you, life is very short. It will be finished in 80 years, 70 years, or 90 years, even 100 years. But one thing you never ever finish is what you do for for your society in the past you know what i mean that's why i i'm i'm very buddhist like i say i i try to deliver that everything yeah like the temples like the church they are always in in there they they have a long life forever right but the human will be different that's why i want to deliver the help deliver the love to our community Thank you. And which was easier to find your first 1000 uh, restaurants to join your app or your first 1000 uh, clients to join the app? I think it's very, e very easy to find out my first 1000 uh, customer to my app. It's very difficult to find out the first 1000 um, uh, restaurant to our app because our restaurant helping our company to promote too and I think a lot of people doesn't see or eat that much but we do have a lot of customer use day every time when a customer use one time and they will see the what is the different between price between food quality and food quantity and delivery time and service then after that they will see what is the best? So they will keep using us. When they're using us, they will refer to someone in their community, in their family. That's that's how we're getting bigger. We, we're not getting bigger with a lot of the uh, marketing uh, or strategy or, 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 or pay to app advertisement, something like that. we getting bigger because the customer use, the, the use, use experience, telling any, anything that oh, it is one of the good price, good, uh, you know what I mean? Mouse by mouse. Anything you see from advertisement is consumer pay for it. I don't want to make consumer pay for the advertisement. That's why I don't do it. But even we don't do it, we still getting a lot of the traffic. I think is um, the people always refer our app to the someone they love. People always refer our app to someone they like and someone who need help you know always have a grateful people great people great persons who refer us to a lot of the users that's why we have a lot of users we got 
thousands and thousands of new users being signed up every day. Thank you. And how did you manage to grow this company from scratch? Because, you know, when you're building, especially a tech company, um, you need a lot of funding to start it, right? To have uh, money for the developers, for the software, for the, you know, for your employees, for your sales team. How did you manage to grow from zero to such a, a great company? Yes, uh, mm, like I say, the money is not important to me. But when we start to have the company, that is very difficult with the money. Uh, we have uh, got some friend always uh, put the money into my company to helping us to doing it. Uh, even at the moment, we are not start to raising the funding because I I have changed the models. All the people been working in my company over one years, they are be our company partners. They are be our company director because I giving all the share to all my colleagues. Anyone been working in my in my uh, company a lot of people they oh like uh, some people is rich they using to buy in a company share from published company to make their life uh, more rich um to making the money in there with our company we like people to put the effort in to put the time in to make more customers and we also giving them a share and even at the moment, we are looking for a lot of people to promote us. Anyone want to promote us, they can contact with us. When they contact with us, we will create the promotion things for them, promotion code for them to 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 get promote. When they promote the people, they, when the people make the order, we also giving them share. Yeah, and we giving them share, and we also to pay them with the order to you know. So we that's how we do. Yeah. Thank you. And how did you grow this community of people that support and back and fund your company? Is it because you're very charismatic? Is it because you're handsome? Is it because you're you're uh, you're rich? You were rich when you started. Is it because you have some special asset we're not aware of that you can share with the audience? What's what's the key to your success? that has enabled you to have all of these supportive community to support you in the growth of this multi-million pound business? Okay, actually, this is a <laughs> very, very good question. <laughs> yes, um, actually, um, the things, like like I say, when I start when I was born, I'm, I'm losing a lot of temple culture, so I'm, I, I love, Buddhist cultures to helping the people. So start when I know I'm a I'm a person like five, six, seven years old. I'm I'm start off to helping the people, helping the people. So when you always keep into helping the people, then you have built up your personal uh, uh, personal reputation. When you build up your personal reputation, that'll be easy for people who come in to to join you to gain your life. You know, people always try to uh, to get in close to someone who is nice person give it can deliver really the help or anything like that you know what i mean it's not because i'm handsome <laughs> you can see that i'm not handsome <laughs> i wish i can become handsome but i think i'm most handsome because my my mom and give me and my dad give me you know everything the best i think i'm one of the most handsome person in my parents but i think it's all about what you think how you deliver it you know, when you're doing something good for your lifetime and then people know you, you, you are a good person, you deliver that, then they would like to work in together with you. Like all of my, most of my colleagues, they start to working with me when I build up the company and today they are still here. They, 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 be, they, they start from uh, uh, getting from the school to the societies to start to work and to start become company partners then that's how we do it together and how we're working together i think we have we have a great things it is it's it's all about yourself if you are you, if you are a good person you bring all the good person together if you are doing russian and takeaway you bring russian takeaway people together if you are doing um financial you bring the financial people together i think this is about the group but all i can say is all of my group of my friend is very, very trustful 
nicely and friendly. Someone like the lady, the beautiful lady sitting opposite me, called Lily. She's my friend too. <laughs> She's beautiful and nice and have a very good high, you know, of helping the people. It's great. It's great. Yes, I we have a, a great people along you. If you want to have a great people along you, you need to be great first. Thank you. And what's your legacy message to entrepreneurs worldwide? Um, actually, um, I think for all entrepreneurs, I, I would like they are to all come together, all to join together to deliver the love to the society, not only looking for the profit. Profit is, is important, but it's not that important. I think a smile, love, helping the people is most important than to get in the money, you know? So I would like all the entrepreneurs, if they want and they can co party with or it can be strategic partnership with or it can helping us to grow with our company. We are not a charity, but we would like to do something like charity. And also with all the entrepreneurs, uh, all the people, we, you know, when we come in, when we born, we born with nothing. When we go, we go with nothing. So whatever have a time, join a time in time in life. I I hope everyone can come together to helping the all of the society, helping the people, you know, to gain better life, to to deliver the to deliver the love to everyone. That's why I'm looking for all the entrepreneurs doing it. I think this is most important than to become billionaire. I don't want to become billionaire. Even I'll become billionaire one day, I'll donate everything to the society. I'll give out anything to the society. I love to help the people. I love to have beautiful life with love, with smiling in my face. I think that's most important. That's the most rich life I'll get. It. So you've heard Ruilin. Uh, his recipe for success to build a multi-million pound business is to deliver your services and products with love. Yes, not the not the billion of the pound and billion of the smile on someone else's face. Great. Follow us for more interviews with world's most influential business titans, providing you with the insights to awaken to your full potential so you can get paid to be yourself, find true happiness, and manifest anything you desire.